Hey guys, Brad Pillsbury here. Hopefully you guys had a good holidays, got what you want. Hopefully you guys had a good New Year's. And uh, if you guys can see on the video title for this, this is going to be an update on how to fix your unsupported video format on your uh, Galto game capture card. This is going to be an update. And uh, the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One, they pretty much work the same way. Uh, you could probably use this for the PS3 and PS4. I don't see why it would be any different if it's pretty much all the same. Just getting the video on your TV and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get into the video. So first thing what you want to do is find your settings in your console. And if you don't know how to do that yet for the Xbox One, I'll be able to show you. Now, if you uh, you can have it pinned in your pins area. If it's not there, there's a few more choices of where it can be found. Uh, you got this little bar right here, which could show you if it's there, it's there. No, it's not. You can always go into My Games and Apps, and it should be there. Um, if you guys want to just get like a little faster way, you click the the three bar button on your controller. I don't know like what it's called. I guess it's supposed to be like the start button on your Xbox 360 controller type of deal. It's in the same location. I don't know like what it's really called. But uh yeah. <laughs> there you go. You got settings right there. <sighs> so once you are into settings you want to go down to display and sound. And then you want to click on TV resolution, which is your main problem for anything. Yeah. Um, I haven't really worked with 1080p. I'm not sure if it's just my TV that doesn't support it or if it's the software or I don't know. But I'm just going to leave it on to 720. So, yeah. So, you want to click on that. Your TV will recompress and everything like that. And um, what you want to do for your software on the uh, Gallus Hill is go into your computer, make sure everything is plugged in and whatnot, because it wouldn't make any sense if you have everything unplugged and, yeah, you wouldn't get any reason if it's working or not. So, yeah, plug it in. All right, so I'll have pictures on what to do in the software coming up like right now. So you see the mainframe of what your software is and then you have your capture tab and then you the first tab underneath capture is device. There is going to be a symbol of like a a wrench and like a hammer. You want to click on that. That is like the settings for the software. Once you click on that, you get capture. That's pretty much where it's going to all be at. You want to select your input device. It could be Xbox One, Xbox 360, etc. Not sure if the input really matters. I'm using HDMI, so that's pretty much goes like that. And if you're on Xbox One, it'll automatically change the color range to expanded. And then after that, you want to go down to Profile and click on the same one as your TV, HD 720. And then you want to hit Quality, Best, or do whatever you want to that, and anything else. Just press OK. Give it a second to load up, and your shit should be good. There you go. There should be no more problems with this. Uh, I found out that if you don't use your capture device a lot, like you only use it like once a month kind of deal, um, you might need to do this a while just so like your the software and the actual capture card and your console can connect with each other and whatnot like that. So yeah, uh, if you guys like this video, hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better. Uh, I've been sick for quite a while and 
yeah. So I haven't been doing a lot of videos, but I'll probably get back onto that. I've been playing a lot of uh, GTA with uh, friends on the 360, so I'll probably put some uh, gameplay of that. I was just kind of fucking around. And got some uh, Ghost gameplay, Battlefield 4. And if you guys want, uh, I'll put in some Rise gameplay, maybe some Forza. But I don't know what really to talk about uh, with those. Pretty much for If you guys want to see something a little bit different on my channel. But yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like. I love the support that you guys give me. So far I'm up to 20 subscribers, which is a big plus. Uh, let's see if we can get this to 100 or whatnot in the future. But uh, yeah. See you guys next time.